Hey story timers, welcome back to the Neil Cochran House Museum. I was just daydreaming about adventure. I'm sure you, just like me, are ready to get back out and have your own adventures again, which is why I'm so excited to let you know that the Neil Cochran House Museum is reopening today. So you can come in and have your own adventures here at the house. You know, adventure is really important to us here at the Neil Cochran House Museum. After all, Texas was founded by adventurers, from the Spanish missionaries to Davy Crockett, and even the person who built this house, Washington Hill, was actually paid to go out and map Texas by going out and adventuring around the wilderness. Isn't that just incredible? So that brings me to our story for today. It's a special story all about adventure. So what do you say we go down to our story time place and get started? Well, here we are in the parlor. So today's story is a special story about a little turtle. And he wakes up one day to see that his entire world has completely changed and he goes on a grand adventure in an effort to find a new home. So what do you say we get started? So get comfortable, grab a blanket, and let's get started. Little Turtle's Big Adventure by David Harrison, illustrated by J.P. Miller. Beside a pond lived a little turtle. Every day he sat on a log and took long naps in the warm sun. He could watch mice scamper. He could hear birds twitter and frogs grump from lily pads. Every night, the turtle pulled his head and feet and tail inside his shell and went to sleep. The little pond was just the right place for a little turtle to live. One morning, a rumble like thunder woke the little turtle. Men with steam shovels and bulldozers were working in the clover fields. The machines pushed over trees. They dug up clover. They tore down hills and filled up holes. The machines made so much noise that the turtle couldn't hear the birds or the frogs. Closer and closer came the machines. Finally, they reached the very edge of the pond. The machine splashed mud all over the turtle. He had to hurry off his log and hide in the weeds. But the big machines did not stop at the pond. The steam shovels began throwing loads of dirt right into the water. Frogs hopped off through the clover. Birds scolded and flew away. Mice twitched their whiskers and scurried after the frogs. The bulldozers covered the turtle with dust from his nose to his tail. When the noise stopped, the little turtle peeked out through the weeds. He was all alone. The pond was gone. Soon, new machines began to arrive. They made everything flat and smooth. They were building a road. Before long, the road was finished. Now there was nothing to watch but cars and trucks. There was nothing to hear but beeping and honking. At night, the little turtle couldn't fall asleep. He could stay here no longer. He had to find a new home. Early one morning, the turtle started out. He tried living in a field, but the grass was too tall. He tried living on a hill, but the hill was too windy. He tried living in a forest, but the forest was dark and damp. There was no place for the little turtle to warm himself in the sun. The turtle looked all summer. Nowhere could he find a new home. Autumn came. Cold winds blew leaves from the trees. Birds flew south, but the little turtle kept looking. At last, winter came. Snow fell. Icicles hung from the trees. The turtle could go no further. He dug into the mud and shut himself inside his shell. Lying deep beneath the snow and frozen mud, the little turtle slept. Finally, warm rain melted the snow. Spring came. The little turtle crawled out of the mud and stretched. He still had no home. 
There was nothing to do but keep looking. Every day the turtle walked. He saw more forests and more hills and more fields, but nowhere could he find a place that looked just right for a little turtle. Then one day, a boy saw the turtle. The turtle had never seen a boy before. This is no place for a little turtle, the boy said, and he picked the turtle up and he carried him down a shady path. The turtle hid inside his shell. He had never eat, been carried before. After a while, the boy stopped and put the turtle down. Slowly, the turtle peeked out of his shell. He was sitting beside a pond. It was a good pond too. The frogs grumped and the birds twittered. Mice scurried about. For a long time, the little turtle sat on a flat rock. Then he did what turtles do when they are happy. He closed his eyes and took a long nap in the warm sun. He had found a new home at last. The end. So this story is the adventure of a little turtle who wakes up one day and finds his home completely different. You know, it reminds me a bit of the Neil Cochran House Museum. As I mentioned, Washington Hill was an adventurer because he went out on adventures to map the Texas wilderness. But truthfully, if he were to come back here to this house today, he, it would be like he were waking up and his entire pond was gone. Everything around Austin and around this house has completely changed and continues to change, which is why we're so lucky to still be here. We still have our home. So, we don't have to go out and adventure because Washington Hill did such a great job of finding the perfect place for this house to be and for this now museum. So I hope you enjoyed today's story. If you want to come and visit us here at the Neil Cochran House Museum, as I said, we are reopening today and you can go online to our website, nchmuseum.org, and you can buy tickets right there to come by and visit us. Our hours are Wednesday through Sunday from 11 to 4. When you buy your tickets, you can buy them for a specific time as we are limiting and restricting groups coming in at 15 minute intervals. But you can schedule what time you wanna enter the museum right there online when you buy your tickets. We hope to see you soon. Also, while you're there on our website, be sure to sign up for our newsletter. That way you can always know what's happening here at the Neil Cochran House Museum. We have fantastic events that we're continuing to try to provide for you as often as possible. Additionally, be sure to follow us on social media, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We can't wait to see you soon and have you come out for your own adventure. Bye, Storytimers. See you next week.